The High Court released a judgment today dismissing the Singapore Democratic Party's appeal against three correction directions issued against them by Manpower Minister Josephine Teo. Now, the directions were issued over an article and two Facebook posts that were made last year after the fake news law, POFMA, was implemented. STP's appeal is the first court challenge against the Protection from Online Falsehoods and Manipulation Act, or POFMA, uh, this after Mrs. Teo rejected the opposition party's application to cancel the directions. Mary Lim explains. The court held that the Attorney General had proven that false statements of fact in relation to local retrenchment and employment rates of professionals, managers, executives and technicians or PMETs were made in all three instances. It said that the AG had to prove the falsehoods, not SDP, as the starting point is that citizens have freedom of speech and those who seek to constrain their rights must provide a basis. SDP argued that the laws kicked in after the article was written and shouldn't be applied retrospectively. But the court held that they communicated the article in November and December after the law took effect by posting a hyperlink on Facebook and making it easily available. SDP further accused the AG of cherry-picking its statistics by only showing figures from 2015 to 2018 to show that the number of local PMETs retrenched has decreased. SDP provided statistics from 2010 to 2018 instead that showed a statistical increase in local PMET retrenchment and referred to an uptick of retrenchments in the fourth quarter of 2018 to the first quarter of 2019. Calling SDP's arguments problematic, the judge said the article didn't hint at such a long time frame. 2010 was also an arbitrary starting point, and the 2018 to 2019 numbers were of overall retrenchments, not just of local PMETs. As for the graph in the second Facebook post, SDP argued that it referred to the proportion of local PMET employments, not employments itself. The court rejected this as the heading indicated otherwise. It held that the graph showed decreasing local PMET employment and that was false according to MOM statistics, adding that SDP didn't challenge the accuracy of MOM's numbers. In closing, the court emphasized that its role is to interpret the law and not to comment on how desirable policies are. Another appeal under the fake news law has been scheduled, this time brought by alternative news outlet, The Online Citizen.